Hello, thank you for joining me. This is a video about how to make Nuka Cola caps. Kind of dorky, but it does take a while and maybe somebody could use a video on how to do it. So I'm using my iPad and I'm using my Cricut. So I downloaded the image of Nuka Cola from the internet. I open my Cricut and I start a new project. I press upload, upload image, and second option. Then you can see my image was the first one to pop up and I pick it. I don't have paid access, so I work around it. So I delete all the areas that I don't want as a sticker. And that includes all the little nooks and crannies and holes. You'll see those in other projects. They can get really small, so sometimes you have to zoom in. But I didn't have to for my project. Then you hit next or apply. And I never print before I cut. Some people do, but I just cut all my items. So my image uploaded really big. I had already pre-measured my caps and I knew that they were about 0.8 inches long. So I have to account for the curve in the cap, so I made a size 0.6. There is a different way to cut each of these letters separately. Um, I'm showing everybody the easiest, fastest way that I didn't know two years ago when I started this project. Um, it's a good habit to select what color you want. You don't really need to for this one if you already are using white for the entire project, but it's a good habit because further down the line, you're gonna have a whole bunch of colors and then you're gonna forget which color you intended to use. Um, so I slide my image out a little bit. I usually use tape to tape my vinyl down. So I cut away from the edges just to be safe. So I, um, I'm making several extra copies. I had printed about 25 earlier and made a few snafus, so I'm printing a few extra now. So I do print copies and now I'm selecting and pulling down to give extra space. If you're really good at transferring your projects, um, when you go to cut these, it will be really great that the Nuka and the Cola are on top and below each other, but it's not necessary to do. Sorry about the imagery. I was more paying attention to my iPad than what my camera was angled at. <clears throat> so after you move them to place, you hit next. Maybe a whole bunch of times. <laughs> and then you select which um, item you're going to cut one to. So I've already used vinyl, so that was already saved in there, but otherwise you have to select from this long list of materials. So this is me before I got pretty good zoom and made the other part of the video. But I'm laying down the vinyl onto my caps. I did not include a picture or a little video but I bought caps from a craft store that were silver and I spray painted them candy apple red. And I did that about two years ago and they sat in my drawer and I decided I should probably finish the project so today was the day. Now I'm applying all the vinyl onto the caps and it takes a very long time because I didn't get very good at using the sticky tapes and sometimes the little end wanted to fall off or it wanted to cut off really. 
oh look, I can finally go by camera better. So I have about 20 some caps that I'm making. I made exactly one previously. And that one took me a really long time to do. Fortunately, I remembered how to do it, but now I had to do it 20 more times. So I applied the vinyl, then I apply a craft glue on top and I smother it around with a little paintbrush and I let it sit. It takes about an hour to dry, but then it makes sure the vinyl doesn't remove and it gives the top a nice sleek finish. And it looks nice and it feels nice. It doesn't look crumply or anything. But it takes me a long time to apply all the vinyl. It took me about <clears throat> two hours to do this whole process. The final step is setting the glue. I failed to mention that the first step at the very, very beginning is buying the caps and spray painting them with candy red. But thanks for joining me, and I hope somebody learned how to make Nuka caps with a splint on my nose. And hopefully my next dorky video will be a lot better and my nose won't be so stuffy. Thank you!